hey guys welcome back to another video on today's video i want to show you how to make a mini mouse balloon arc and uh, super easy just takes a lot of patience but keep on watching and i'll show you how to do it okay we're gonna start blowing up our balloons uh, i am using decomex 12 inches and we're gonna blow them at eight inches um we're gonna be using our pump and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start blowing them uh, to eight inches and do a pair of two. So you'll see me do that and I'll tie them together. And then you are going to need about 33 quads. So you have to do 33 quads. So that means four balloons on each quad. So you tie them and you stuff them. So you do this until you have your 33 quads and then I'll show you what you need to do next to get the ears. But the 33 quads are going to be for arc. I'll show you on the following videos how to um, tie the for the quads to the arc. Okay, once we have our quads, which you'll see me make here, we are going to start putting them in the arc. This arc I found on eBay for, I believe, $74 or $78. And then you just um, make your quad, slide it, and make sure you tie it because you want to make sure all your quads are very uh, tight in there and none of them will come out or come loose. So that's what you'll see me doing there. And you are going to do this for about 33 times. So I'll fast forward and then I'll cut some some parts so you make it goes faster. But yeah, this is our arc and that's how you install it. Make sure you tie it very well and then you put them next to each other.
Hi guys, I'm coming back inside the house to show you how to do the ears. We're gonna finish up the ears. Um, I already did one. I'll show you next how it's turning out and then you can see me set up this one. Um, I ever have done before a Mickey Mouse ear arc for somebody for like a first birthday. It was Mickey Mouse and St. Patrick's Day kind of mixed. So it was pretty cool. Uh, now this time I decided to do a Minnie Mouse, which we are about to finish up. I just have to do like the second ear and then do the bow, which the bow is going to be gold hearts. And then I'm gonna show you how I do those as well. So let's start with the ears. So we are gonna have a quad, um, well, nine quads of uh, 12, um, no, eight inches. The balloons are 12 inches, we're gonna mix. Of eight inches each. So the whole arc has been eight inches each and we use 33 quads, which would be, um, I'll do the math later and tell you how much balloons we use, <laughs> but it's 33 quads. And then the ears so far, it's going to be nine quads. So what I'm gonna do, it's going to be um, get two quads, tie them together very tight, please. So let's do the uh, knot on top of the other one. So it's extra tight. Okay, once you have your first quad, you go on and then add all nine quads, okay? So, oopsies. So I'll fast forward. Okay guys, I have my big um, garland, you can say, which is our ear. We, I have my big ear. I'm gonna tie the ends two or the last quad like a little 260 leftover i have from some other project and then i'm gonna tie it to the last quad right so i can use that to tie it to my arc make sure like we don't get them like on the like make sure it's still a quad you know like not this one popping forward or which is hard, but I just managed to put it back in there. And then the other one. Okay. So now we have our ties at the end of our garland. Can't see it, but we do. We have our, our ties. And then for the center of the ear, we are gonna use smaller quads. So this is seven inch quads. Those are eight inch, this is seven inch quads. So this ones, we are going to um, put them together. So two quads, interwind them together, I guess is the right word. So there is one. So let's do another one. So it's going to be three in total, all seven inches. Make sure they're really interwined there because you don't want them coming undone. Okay. And now I have like a, like a kind of like a flower in the front. You see, like I have two, four, five, six little petals, I guess you can say. And this has to be like a little longer. You see, it's not like white, just because it's gonna help us uh, get our ear straight, like straight up. And it's easier to slide in there. So this is, the perfect size. So I'm gonna take you guys outside back again and then finish it in this up. Oh, we're also gonna use fish line to uh, make sure this is all well tightened there and uh, it's not gonna come undone. So I'm gonna get my fish line. Okay, now I am going to um, attach my ear. So what I'm gonna do is grab one end of the garland, attach it to the arc, the same height as the other one. And I have markings in my arc knowing where the middle or the same, side is as the other one and then after that i tie it i count how many quads are in between each ear and there were three so i counted three on the other side and attached the other end to that side of the arc and you can also make marks before you start on your um arc so you know exactly where to put your like your ear i guess you can say so I am going to tie this ear to the end to the third guard to the third quad of the arc 
and yeah go from there Okay, now you're gonna grab the middle part of the ear and you're going to shove it in there and uh, try to make it stay put. So you're gonna wiggle it and try to make it stay still. After you're done wiggling it and you think it looks good, you are going to tie your, um, you are going to grab your fishing line, the clear thread, and you're going to secure it. So in case there's any wind or anything, your ear won't come undone or get apart. It's pretty tight in there that sometimes you don't need to, but just do it out of security. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna reinforce it with my my fish line. And yeah, I think that's all you're, we're gonna do. I tried to add the bows, the ears. It did not work out for me, so I just left it as is. Pretty simple and cute, ready to go to the party. Okay guys, I am back in the AC. Oh my goodness, it's so hot out there. I don't know how hot it is, but I live in Florida and it gets pretty humid. I guess it's hot, but it's very humid. And um, I had to change my shirt because I could not take the heat and I was sweating. So I wanted to come back and give you a quick um, review, I guess, right? Review, I don't know, uh, of what I needed, of all the supplies I used. So here is, the comics i like using this brand like it's not that expensive and um their quality is really good their colors are like eh, you know very um like standard like pink yellow it's not like qualitex it has like lavender and like this beautiful color so for something standard i like to use this for something like teal and stuff i have my qualitex balloons or lavender or lilac those beautiful colors they're just gorgeous like corals but for uh this i use at uh, the comics and um i use the basil baby pink in a 12 inch and i use those for both the ears and the whole arc so i used about 228 balloons which is uh almost uh, well you'll have to order three bags so each one comes with a hundred so i ordered three so i didn't use this one too much but i can use it for any other projects i may have so i used um 33 um quads for the whole arc and then i used a nine quads for the ears and then a little like uh for the center i used three quads and then we said those were seven inch and the other ones were eight inch so that's what i did i was gonna add ears but they didn't look good. It was like too big of an arrangement for like the 18 inch heart. So I didn't use those, but I was gonna use them. Would have looked cute, but if they were bigger, I guess. So it turned out pretty cool as you saw in the photos. It's not hard to make, you just gotta have patience and try because uh, my first try, I didn't think I did that great. Uh, I'll post videos and pictures of the stuff I did. It was for a party uh, and I think, didn't think I did great. So I'm like, let me try it one more time see if it comes out better. And then, cause I learned a lot from the first time. So this is my second time. So I liked it and I'm pretty sure it's gonna look great at uh, the party it's going to be used. I like to set it in the house, set it up in the house as well. So you have an idea of what you have to do when you get to the party. And I thought it would be a great video for YouTube to do. So it's uh, hopefully you guys learned something with that and it helps you with your next party or your next arrangement. I wanted to show you some balloons that Balloons Palace Shop sent me. Um, I am collabing with them to show their balloons. They're a small company, just as I am. So we're hopefully growing together uh, and I wanted to uh, shout them out. They sent me like some balloon bouquets they have. I'll post like pictures of the bouquets. I don't want to open them because it's so hard to put them back in their packages. But I'll post pictures of what the, each one looks like. So this is Spider-Man. This is um, Happy Birthday Banners. And I guess it, it's a, um, I think it's a 16 inch um, banner 
happy birthday balloon banner and it's gold comes in silver and comes in uh, pink like a uh, rose gold and then it comes in uh, rainbow like the chrome rainbow so those they sent me this for they sent me spider-man and then i also got mickey mouse and i think it comes with like four or five balloons i think and then um the um unicorn <laughs> unicorn set and then uh coco melon so that was pretty cool um they did tell me the prices too i forget i think this is like 14 and this is like i don't know i have to check but i'll post the pictures of what the prices as well so you guys can see what i'm talking about here's my baby that he made small appearances on the video his name is aleski say hi aleski hi. hi oh he loves the camera but um he loves to play around so my little boy he is three going to be four in november so my little boy all right guys well this is for, all for today's video i hope uh, if you have any questions leave them down below uh, my next video i want to do a barbie um balloon wall that i have planned my husband made the barbie box for me so i'm so excited to use it and i show wow. you guys how that comes out so that should be next video we'll see if i can get it recorded next weekend if i do then you'll see it posted uh the week after that so all right guys you guys have a great weekend or week whatever you guys are and we'll see you in our next video bye